It was a bit of a surprise hearing the name Den Watts again. But he always was full of surprises. You remember him then? Hard to forget. You said we met, but I don't remember. Oh, you were only a little girl. It was during your adoption application. Den brought you in, sat with you, right where you're sitting now. His little princess, he called you. He said he was your dad and insisted that the law recognised it. Foster dad wasn't enough for him. Foster? Did Den and Angela adopt me? Oh, eventually, yes. But it was a private foster at first. Den stood in court and asked to adopt you. Charmed the judge. Female, of course. The first and only time he was a fan of the law. Now, your letter said you needed answers, Sharon. Well, yeah, I'm trying to track down my birth father. I mean, did you ever meet him? No, I'm afraid I only ever dealt with Den. Well, there must be something somewhere. I've tried everything I can think of. I mean, my father never registered a name or an address. Not with a local authority or even on my birth certificate. We thought you might have something from the adoption. No paperwork, maybe? I'm afraid Den's files were destroyed years ago. He never liked to leave a paper trail. You have your mother's birth name. Well, she's died. Look, is there really no one to ask? As no father's name was registered, there's little I can do. Okay. Only if I could speak for an old client. Den once told me he'd made a mess of every relationship he'd ever had, except you. You were the one thing in his life he was proud of. You're looking for a father, but that's all Den ever fought to be for you. Aren't you looking for something you've always had? <laughs> 